Glory. So you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? You know she's a synth. We're supposed to protect them. Glory? She wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. These are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. I... I think she'd like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now, before I change my mind. Curie, let's begin. Curie, terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. A all successful right. mission Connection on complete. all counts, sir. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I... I... My chest... What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. Is that really you, Curie? Yes. You sound so different with these ears. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Burrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? She sounds good, Doc. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. I heard about your signal interception. Now that you've found the Institute, I hope you do the right thing. It was an honor to fight at your side. Hey. Hey. Do you need something from me? Here's what I have on me. <laughs>